where we last left our heroes traveling through the Feywild uh, with the assistance of a mushroom collecting fawn by the name of Barnaby uh, they defeated a group of flail snails which seems to have fled from their native homelands in the cave systems deeper into the Feywilds for unknown reasons seeking some respite as well as some information they travel with Barnaby to his commune where they were greeted by a bunch of naturalistic fawns who found each of the party very compelling in their own ways there they met the dream walker who went by the name of Sprout and were each in one way or another invited into his dream world where Denier revealed himself to be far more knowledgeable of the realm uh, just in terms of sheer power taking on the guise of Somnium Vagus and entreating the dream walker and showing him his skills the dream walker informing the party that some dark dreams uh, like some darkness has been clouding over the minds of the pixies as of late and so traveling through the dream well realm into the mind of the pixies they met a pixie prince by the name of plum boy who informed the party that a old protection sigil stone had been wrought from their lands by invaders deeper into the woods. With instructions, they were able to find Plum Boy in the waking world, who was able to confer with them that the saboteurs and uh, aggressors were in fact red caps. Now the party shoots through the woods alongside Plum Boy to find the Red Cap Menace and try to restore peace to this realm of the Overgrowth. As you continue darting through the uh, wood, uh, the woods, at the I swear the air is thicker here, God. <sighs> Uh, true, actually. The the further you've been traveling in, it's it's been getting a little warmer. I feel like I'm breathing in water. <clears throat> like a, I lived in a swamp. Yeah. Darting between trees, uh, Plum Boy begins to slow down. As you approach your destination, you can start to see some like rocky foothills begin to protrude ahead of you. This is about as far as I tracked them. The cave must be around here somewhere. As he slowly yeah. floats, as as uh, the lot of you slowly float down to the ground. Do they, uh, do they, do they operate like a, a normal city, or do they operate like ants? Do they, are they, do they have like a queen red cap? I don't know how these things work. <laughs> oh, can't say I'm fully up to date on... The particulars of every tribe around here, especially these lot that usually keep to themselves. <laughs> Sounds like they're a lot like goblins. It really feels like that, at least. I don't get many goblins around here, at least none that stick around too long. Was some time ago yeah. that a group of them and them bigger lot passed through. Bugbears, I believe. It's shit. Bugbear. Bug As one just looks at the rest of the party when, he's, when their guide says that. Nara's just whispering bugbear to herself over and over. <laughs> what was that? You were whispering. Bugbear. Bugbear. Bug bugbear. Hmm. I actually had to boost your audio. I can't fucking hear you. Oh really? <laughs> Woohoo-hoo. Yeah, I actually had to boost your audio. I couldn't hear you. Um Bugbear. Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Now we had a run in with some goblins and bugbears the last time wasn't exactly. Nasmal kinda of looks at Denier. It wasn't exactly the best. Yeah. Are they murderable? They all are. Ooh. They're pretty quick to back away from our tribe. Nah, they probably had something else to do. 
And they looked like they were running scared. Fight you guys wasn't worth it. Traveling through. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Probably the remnants of the Battle of Silver Rock. When was that? About a month or two ago. Uh, this would have been probably about like three months ago at this point. Ah. Hmm. Well, time here is a little different, but I guess I wouldn't know. I had to roll an intelligence check for him, and he got a result. Hmm. 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 I also do that when I roll intelligence checks. We all do. <laughs> You do get a result when you roll I something. I do get a result. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so yeah. You guys wander around trying to look for signs of a trail, signs of life. If you want, you can go ahead and give me survival checks. Oh, survival! <laughs> I will have detect magic and thirteen. Up That's my favorite start of my favorite disturb song. Same for detect magic. All right. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, seventeen. Wolfgang, knowing the particulars of these creatures that you're trying to track, um. You have an easier time locating the tracks that you're looking for. You find these heavy set boot prints laden in some softer uh, some uh, softer earth. They look like they were made by a, a kind of a large creature's footprints, like a big heavy boot. And you're able to find a trail with those leading uh, slightly north eastern into the uh, trees, which are growing denser and denser as you've been traveling inward. Hmm. Uh, real, real quickly, if there isn't already, I'll, I'll. Uh, how big is the footprint? Um, would it be bigger than my hand per se? Yes, bigger than your hand. Probably, it would stretch from the tip of your pinky down to the middle of your forearm. It's it's almost like uh, like an actual foot long and probably about a little under half that in width. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll just make sure to jot that down in the in the my little monster manual if it's not already there. My little monster. Yeah, you jot that down just fine, and you're able to pick up the trail. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming you follow the trail, you uh, find yourself into a small rocky clearing. Let's see, I think it's this one that I'm dropping it into. Well, let me make sure I got all the. Oh, where did I where did I drop that? That is, uh, that's oh. our god campaign. Yeah, that's, that's the god Whoop. campaign. My bad. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Super. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you find yourselves in uh, a bit a bit of a rocky clearing where immediately you notice uh, two of the flail snails. They look like they've been kind of, like, rotting in the sun for a little bit. Two bodies are immediately apparent to you. Immediately runs up and uh, sees what can be taken. Oh, God. Uh, no, wait. That? Why? We don't know if what killed them is still here. Well, if what killed them is still here, then we get to kill it. Uh, right? Could you... I uh, don't can... know. We are in foreign territory. We don't know if they have an ambush set up or what. <sighs> hey. Hey. What? Hey, uh, do other cats have a preferred prey or victim? Do we bait them out somehow? Lure them out somehow? 
Maybe you could be looking oh. like one of the villagers in the nearby village. Now you use your, your that, it's the, 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 the magic thing you do. Where you look like somebody else. Do that. Look like someone from the village. So um, I, think it's actually I didn't kill anyone in the village, so I can't do that. Well, Damn. have I killed a, a, a fawn before? Um, Surely I've killed a fawn. Lou, Lou, Lou. Go ahead and give me a... Just roll a d20. I want to see if it hits my it hits the threshold. 18. Yeah, you've you've uh you've killed a fawn before. <laughs> of course I've killed a fawn. Uh, I didn't kill anyone in the village, but she just flaps it forward and like thinks of a fawn. All right, so you take off your circlet and replace it with the veil. Yes, for now. All right. And like that, you take on the form of a uh, fawn male. Mm hmm. There. How about this? That is really weird. What? She gestures with her hands out. Okay. All right. All right. Just gonna... Asma puts his thumbs to his temple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Every time it's weird. I want everybody to give me a wisdom check real quick. Or an intelligence check. I'm sorry. Oh, oh thank God. Okay. okay. It's very different. 15. 18. All right. I uh, Four. Uh... Watch out, guys. Here come the big numbers. Uh, intelligence. What the heck? Oh. I like it. You're right. like... I don't play... <laughs> 17! Oh, Look fuck. at that! Denier. As you have approached this area, something's kind of tingling in the back of your mind. A, a presence. Something unknown to you. But something was attempting to touch your consciousness for a moment. And it seemed to back away very quickly when it realized you noticed it. Something's here. I just felt something reach out, but as soon as I caught wind of it, it retreated. See? Are you, are you talking magic? I don't know. But I felt it in the back of my head for a second. Oh boy. I'm looking around. Nothing immediately catches your eye that's uh, out of place, at least not with your magical vision. Uh, don't see nothing. Oh, this is definitely the place. Plum boy just kind of like hovers along about like two feet above your heads, just kind of fluttering in the air. This could explain why the red caps have gotten so aggressive as of late if something is messing with their heads. Whatever it is. They're also... hmm? Whatever it is. I just want to get our sigil back. I have to protect my clan. I'm going to take a look over the snail. What kind of wounds does it have? Slashes, burns? Uh, uh, either medical or survival check. Asmo, Nara, move up. 17. Ah, fine. Don't look at uh, this. Look at the snail. The the meaty, fleshy bits of it look like it was hacked, just slashed and slashed and hacked with various crude blades. And the shell looks like it was basically crushed to like very small particles, like shattered into like near dust. The rest of the body is just kind of like it looks like it's been sitting here for maybe four or five days. Uh, it doesn't smell too pleasant. Mm -hmm. Kind of smells like uh, if you leave Nintendo Gak in a warm room for too long. Oh, <laughs> nice. Is there anything left to be get gotten from these bodies, or are they so mangled that they're nothing? pretty old? You can go ahead and give me a survival check with uh, disadvantage. Ew, or Nickelodeon yep. Gak, I'm sorry. Okay, guess it's a nat one. Cool. You you instantly think like oh there's probably got to be something good in the mushy bits you stick your hand in there and you just i need you to make a con save real quick oh no oh oh 
but it's okay because it's a 22. Yeah, it feels none too pleasant. Like, even for you, this is a little much. You take your hand out. It is covered oh. in greasy, green, brown-tinted ichor. This is not what I was hoping for. And just proceeds to, like, flap the hands everywhere so that it, all the goo flies off. Uh, God! How close are you to us doing this? I don't well, know. You're far asthma, away. Yeah, Asma, you stayed asthma. back at the tree, apparently. Oh my god. I'm so you sorry. haven't moved. I'm so sorry. I forgot. My bad. <laughs> uh, you, can you can feel air uh, kind of like slowly being sucked into the cave mouth in front of you. It looks like uh, slashing weapons, extremely crude looking by the looks of it. Uh, the marks, the wounds look extremely jagged, and the skull, uh, the shells have been pulverized into dust. So whatever it is, it can hit really, really hard. And nothing worth saving. Hmm. But there's air, there's air being pulled into that cave over there. This is like, yeah, that one right there. Hi. So, why am I falling again? Bait, I'm guessing. Plum Boy Some just kind of shrugs. Bait. Although I'm not sure how effective bait would be to an adult mind. Asmo! What? Move up! Okay. You're Asmo in a dungeon crawl, man. You gotta be in the window. I'm. Oh, we're in a dungeon crawl? I didn't know we were yes. in a dungeon crawl! Oh my god, I have not been looking at the screen. I've been actually look looking looking. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Uh I'm gonna mage armor up. Alright. And I'm gonna creep over here and I'm going here inside. Alright, Denier, you walk over you walk up to the mouth of the cave. Hold on. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want reveal that one. Yeah. The inside of the cave that you can immediately see, um, as your eyes adjust to the darkness on the inside, uh, you can see that there's a small ridge on the inside of the cave. Uh, near the back, there appears to be like a stalactite. Here, let me... Looks like a fairly wide open space. Looks like there's some rocky bits in the back. Think that's a stalactite? A stalagmite. It comes out of the ground. Can never tell which one is which. I know, right? There we go. I'm just gonna slowly make my way up to the mouth of the cave as well. Um, Nard just walks in. I'm not getting anything from the corpses, right? Uh, from the corpses themselves? No, not particularly. Gotcha. All right. So Here, I'm going past you, dude. Nara just like plops her whole head in and is like looking around. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Deep, fifteen. Your eyes are still adjusting from the ter interminable brightness from uh, outside. As uh, they begin to focus, you hear a little bit of rustling uh, kind of coming from around this corner over here. Well, there's definitely something inside. <sighs> Nara just moves over, <laughs> looks at Asmo. <laughs> Asmo just has his, has his blade drawn, essentially. But Asmo puts up the... has it changed into the shield form. Alright. Uh, Chimera morphs slowly uh, into a shell of a buckle shield around your arm. Good call. Uh, Nara also does mage armor. 
Asmo walks in very slowly with a, like, just, like, he's casually walking. And Asmo's gonna look to the left. All right. As you step in and peer around the corner, you see, uh, staring at you, two beady yellow eyes peering from the shadows. Uh, not very far, like, ten feet away as it notices you and begins oh, why am I hiding more area there we go as it notices you it lets out a and begins as to what charge turns, as, what, as what turns while he's charging yeah they found him yes. <laughs> alright uh, I want everybody to roll initiative oh here we go <laughs> here we oh. go dee 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 boo 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 Nine. Boo, 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 boo. Eight. Thirteen. Oh, here we go. Time to kill some keepy caps. <laughs> Seventeen. All right. For some reason, the song always makes me think of the the Kingdom Hearts remix. You know that? You know what? So, the one song. This song makes me think of Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Gotta play me some mm. of that game. All right, uh, Asmo, you are the first one up in rotation here. All right, I would like to take a defensive action. I'm gonna head back to where Nara is and get on a knee and take a defensive action. Just prepare to block whatever he's coming my way. All right, um, so taking a dodge action, he will just... have disadvantage on attacks against you. Bingo. All right. Uh, it begins to round the corner. And it starts to charge you, Asmo. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, more than happy to do that. That was a constitution saving throw. 16. All right. You made the save. Let me do, do, do. He's attacking me with disadvantage, though. Uh, that's not how saving throws work. Go! Oh! Okay, sorry. No worries. Hold on. Like vicious little land piranha these hit her cats. on the ground here. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that dice there, Nick, down there. All DMs do it. All the cool DMs do it. <laughs> oh, that means yeah. you want to take, cool. uh, as, as he runs up to you, he, like, jumps up, kicks in his legs, and then shoots them out straight into your shield. You're jolted backwards. You take uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage oh. just from this creature. Wham! As it lands flat on its ass on the ground. Dong. Oh, is it prone? Uh, yes, but it's going to use the rest of its movement to pick itself back up. Makes sense. All oh, right. Drop kicked you. <laughs> yeah, he just no that he it, just tried to drop kick you like a mofo. Oh, caught a level drop kick. Great poise. Great positioning. Great leg length. Meanwhile, Nara, I also need you you to make a deck save. Oh, joyous day. 21. Oh, no. uh, fr from your left, you hear, Yah! as another one jumps from the uh, platform <laughs> above you. You duck out of its way, missing, as he falls onto his ass, behind, like, at the side of you, between you and Asmo. Stupid. Toon body. Uh, oh, that's not me Sorry. next time. Not Go ahead. quite. I will now Ooh, reveal boy. the ridge now that you're able to kind of like look up to it. Uh, Damn another it. one sitting there with a sling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically attempts to like fling a bunch of like rocks at you. Its eyes wildly parting in different directions. Uh, that is a 16 to hit, Nara. Uh, B, 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 B. Ah, damn, by one. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is four points of bludgeoning damage. He's going to attempt to fling some more shit at you. That is a 13 to hit. That misses. Nope. And that is a 14 to hit, which also sounds nope. like it misses. Yep. All right. He missed with the rest of his flails. Good. All right. Wolfgang, you're up. Okay. First things first, I'm summoning Crescendo, and then 
I'm running up to Bluey over here, and I'm going to give him the business. Baba Bluey. Go for it. And he he stood back up, correct? Yeah, using the rest of his movement. Uh, he did take a little bit of falling damage from his attempted endeavor. Just All right. Decision. All right, crescendo time. First swing is going to be a 23 to hit. That is certainly going to hit. For 10 slashing damage. All right. Next swing. It's going to be a 27 to hit. That also absolutely hits. For 7 slashing damage. Oh God. And finally, uh, bonus action, Gunslinger. Requiem's coming out, too. Uh, shoot him in the face. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to look up at Green. Shoot him in the face instead. All right, you raise your gun over Nara's shoulder and... Pa! Blam! Uh, not great, ten. Yeah, that, uh, the bullet kind of goes wild and careens off a rock behind the red cap with the sling. Uh, meanwhile, the blue one, you slice upward with Crescendo, drawing it, drawing it uh, from its astral plane, and then strike back across, uh, scorching this creature with radiant burns as it just kind of hisses, I like Durgan! I'll show you, Durgan, motherfucker! And that's my turn. All right. Asma, as you're uh, recovering from the previous, I need you to make another deck save. As running from oh, behind the stalactite comes another uh, stalactite, oh comes God. another one. Oh, raising no, I, was kidding. I was kidding about the lamp piranha. Oh, fuck. Deck save. Natural one. Oh, oh my God. God. Ah, as, oh my god, he's going right for the Yeah, as, as you're oh. blocking the damage from the first one, you knock it backwards as it's on its ass. Ha, idiot. Another two pairs. You hear these two pairs of boots. Whom, 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 whom. As you look over just in time to see them kick you square in the fucking nose. How tiny as, are these bam. little fuckers? How tiny are these little fuckers, by the way, Nick? <laughs> uh, they're about half your height. Oh, good. It's like fighting, it's like fighting toddlers. Excellent. All right, you take uh, 21 points of bludgeoning damage and are what? not prone. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not great. Yeah, his his big old hoofers are like, they landed square in your face. Huh. You said 21? 21, yes. There we go. Okay. Yikes. Everybody's getting drop kicked. Denier. <laughs> Denier's going to reach into his pocket. He's going to grab a handful of coins, and he's going to throw them over Wolfgang's head. I can send him an object. All Woo! right. <laughs> uh, how, how many coins? Ten. Two groups of five, or just one group of ten? Two groups of five. All right. One group is going for uh, green. One group is going for blue. All right. They begin scattering out like X-Wings going into an attack formation. They scatter about. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and begin the attacks on green first. All right. 19. 19 hits. 8 damage. 21. 21 hits. 5 damage. 22. 22 hits. 5 damage. 15. 15, yep, hits. Seven damage. That is one, two, three, four, and number five is 14. 14 still hits. That is eight damage. All right, as these coins go in and begin pelting this creature, left, right, center, back, 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 It's trying to catch them out of the air. <laughs> and next up is blue. 22. 22 hits. 8. 23. 7. Hits. 14. Hits. 8. And 20. with that one, this thing's trying to catch it, catch these coins. He thinks he catches one, pops in his mouth. <laughs> pops oh. out the back of his head. <laughs> its eyes drift apart as it falls to the ground. Whoa. All right. And 
it's the other ones are not the final one is not in range so the other two will just hold their action for now all right and that's my action and bonus action i end my turn nara you're up okay uh let's see oh yeah you're definitely close enough i can acid splash green boy Yes. Dexterity save DC 12. Oh, that does not do a lot, huh? Uh, let me see. He fails. Oh? It takes only two points of acid damage. Yeah! No. All right. I forgot about the thing I needed to do for that, but that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's the thing about cantrips. They're not They're not particularly strong. They're not great. Mm. Who are you not hitting? Really. Green boy. Oh. Uh, and then you know what? I can I can summon whisper though, can I? I believe you can. I definitely can. <gasps> whisper kitty. Blink. I thought I had him put on this map somewhere already, but I guess I'll have to. Oh, there he is. Acquire cat meow. As no, your no, no. as your shadow bristles to life and stretches forth from your feet. Go get him. She points at the green one. All right. The pre-damaged green one, Whisper, begins to leap and pounce. Uh, roll to hit for Wispy. There's a 14 that hits. Whisper does. That's amazing. Yeah? With your acid splash, the perfect amount of damage to kill it. As Whisper, yes. as, as it's wiping the acid out of its eyes. Yasky Burger Dirty! It opens its eyes to see a yellow eyed shadow cat leaping forth. Spigargan And just starts like tearing him about. <laughs> Nara has the bald fist and is very excited. But as a fun. All right. Uh, I need Whisper Cat to make a dexterity save. Yes. <gasps> No! Oh my god! Whisper has pretty good dex. Unless she rolls a nat one. Uh, oh where she gets god. booted square in the face while shaking that thing, while shaking the dead gnome. Uh, Whisper takes. 19 points of damage. Mark that down. And is currently knocked prone. All right, we're back up the list to Asmo. Well, in for a penny, in for a pounding. So here's what's gonna happen: Asmo's gonna lay into that red one as quickly as he can. All right, with the shield. Uh, is it a free? Is it a spare? Is it's, a free action it is, changer? It correct? is a. It is a bonus action to change. Tell you what, Asmo, this round is going to use the shield to fight. Okay. And rolls so to hit as with Chimera Shell. Absolutely. He's going to try and use it essentially like a giant club. 21. 21 hits. Seven points of damage. As you slam the shield into the front of this thing's face, you see like some blood start to trickle out of its nose. Well, Asmo's going to go again. All right, go for it. 27. 27 also Ooh. hits. Six points of damage. You start battering Chill, yeah. it about the head. You start battering it about the head and chest, just clubbing it with your shield. Sorry, exactly, what are you going to say? Because what comes next, out of my offhand, comes Kabuto. My ice weapon. All right. Woo. Because I, I'm able to use a shield and a one-hander. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Yeah, you can dual wield. No problems. 13 out of 13 practice. 13 just hits. 13 just hits. Oh, what? Yep. 7 plus 4, 11 points of damage. And you strike it with the frosty, bristling blade of Kabuto. And you see, like, this frostbitten cut streak down from its shoulder as you pull Kabuto back out. Excellent. That ends my turn. Uh, don't you have an additional extra attack? 
at 11? I you don't... had one more attack. Uh, level and 11, then I, another... I think so. I do not believe so, not in the book that I've noticed. Um, I could be completely wrong, and I fully admit that. How many attacks did you Yeah, fi fi fighters have Yeah, fighters have three attack actions now, don't they? Yeah, and I use three attacks. Chimera, Plus, Chimera, but your, uh, but no, your offhanded weapon them. is a bonus attack for you. Like, it is... Oh! Oh, so I have four basic attacks, you're saying? Pretty sure, it yeah. Works. Oh, okay, then just, that changes Just take it. it, just take it, just do it. Uh, all right, Asmo's like, just, all right. That's what we're like, all right, bonk on the head. Chimera shells are the same red, 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 red cap. 26. Oh my Red god. Six. Bong. Bonk on the head as you bong clatter this one. All right, it's now its turn. It pulls a uh, ra jagged, look a couple jagged looking pieces of metal that were in like a little uh, cross sheath behind it. And it starts lunging for you, Asmo. Oh, yeah, does he now? Plus six to hit. That is a uh, 16 to hit, which I am positive is going to miss with Chimera Shell. 17 is also probably going to miss. And with his final attack... It's a modified 20 to hit. What's your AC with the shell? I am trying to look at that right now, actually. <laughs> I think your um, default AC is higher than that, right? My my neutral. my AC is 19, but I know the shield gives me a plus a two, and I defensive you, uh, Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah, this this misses. Yeah. You're able to block it with the shield. All right. And next up, blue and green are dead. We have Wolfgang. Oh boy. All right. Um. Hmm. Do I want to do here? Uh, um, yeah, probably not worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna zip up over behind Asmo, behind Purple, sandwiching Purple in between us. Uh, and second verse, same as the first, going in with Crescendo. Go for it. Mm, 27 to hit. Definitely hits. For six slashing. One more time. Ooh. 21 to hit. Also hits. 11 slashing. Right. As you slide in behind, it's streaking crescendo up, uh, up its back, and then back down the other side. You leave this massive red cross. Uh, bonus. With its thick blood. Bonus action. Gonna... Press Requiem up against his back and try to shoot him in the heart. Fire away. Oh my god. Natural 20. Oh my god. Oh, baby. oh my god, indeed. That hits. Disgusting. I saw Just the natural fucking 1. Disgusting. I was like, disgusting. I was like Bloody. And then I saw the natural 20 and I was like, eee. <laughs> uh, that's going to be 8 plus 7 oh is god. 15 points of piercing damage. Dodge this as you hold it up to the back of its neck. You fire away, like ob obliterating the right half of its jaw. Just. Prah! This creature's still... not having. It's still alive ah. as it turns to you, pulling out two uh, metallic blades of its own as it starts to lunge toward you. And look at the back of the chipper! Oh. Its eyes drifting further apart, kind of like pulsating in yellow. Uh, <laughs> 16 to hit. That is my AC. All right, so first strike deals seven points of slashing damage. All right. I use, uh, I use uh, projected ward to absorb that damage for Wolfgang. Ooh, as, you, uh, as, as you stir to yourself for the hit, you hear a as a metallic or as a uh, magical seal appears before you and seems to take the entirety of the creature's blow, which doesn't hinder it in any way as it just strikes forward again. Uh, 16 to hit. That will hit again. All right. Can't block this one. That is uh, seven points of slashing damage. It shows you uh, my spectral wings unfold in front of me, and they take the damage. I still have my temporary hit points. 
Uh, still undeterred, the creature's just mad gassed attacking you. <laughs> With a 14 to hit, that one's gonna miss. That misses. As it swings again, just blindly trying to strike at you. Denier, you're up. All right, so Copper Squadron Squadron on the left is going to move into the space beside Asmo, and it's going to begin the attack run on Red, while Copper Squadron on the right is going to move just beside Whisper Cat, and it's going to begin the attack on Orange. I'm right with your Red 3. All right, they, they, they fly. <laughs> Roger. All right, so begin the attack run on Red. Nat 20. Oh my god! I'm gonna go oh. ahead and say Nat 20 typically hits. Probably. Yep. Nine damage, 13. Uh, 13 just hits. Oh man. Seven damage. And uh, with that, once again, it falls to the ground, being clattered by these coins. Just... What, <laughs> like the one flew into its eye, and it's just trying to reach into its eye to grab it, while the other one comes back from behind his palm, smacks the palm into his head, crushing it into his skull. He falls oh. forward. Given that I have three other attacks and they're in position, can I move the rest of the attacks over to uh, purple? Yes. Okay. 22 on purple. 22 hits. That is seven damage on purple. Uh, this is attack number three. 19. Eight damage. And second verse, same as the first. These two coins each fly woom, woom, into the ears. You see his eyes as they like as they've kind of drifted apart. Each of like the right eye is looking right, the left eye is looking left. They begin to focus at the center. They cross, and the coins go out the other side of the head. Oh! And it falls down to the ground as well. Ooh! And finally, <laughs> beginning the attack run on orange. 20 to hit with 5 20 hits. damage, 15 to hit for 7 damage, 27 to hit for 7 damage. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. Matt, 20. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? For 9 damage. Now that's damage. I have a feeling they're not going to make it through. Uh. It does survive, but it's not looking <gasps> good. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> it's it's cleaved up by these coins. Uh, <laughs> Denier, do you have any other actions that you can take this round? Uh, no, I'm I'm just gonna chill here with uh, one <laughs> boy. Just just, sit, just sitting back there drinking a the tea. I'm good. <laughs> okay, Nara, you're up. Uh, Tango Marte. That's you that's pretty. That's pretty easy. You bring forth the ill-fated sickle from behind your back. <laughs> 18 hits. And she just tosses it. Uh, and and will uh, probably do something terrible. That's a 10. 7 slashing, 3 necrotic. And as the blade... <laughs> as this creature is trying to catch these coins, the blade... <laughs> goes straight past it, just floats in front of it. Ingledurgy reaches out towards Tango Muerte as you can see his life essence being pulled into the blade its eyes roll into the back of its head and it falls unconscious to the ground bringing an end to this combat scenario oh. did you <gasps> say life essence being pulled into the blade yes the necrotic huh. damage of Tango Oh, oh, Marte. oh, 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 okay. Sorry. I was on a different train of thought. Hmm. Yeah, Nara those are the bastards. Up. Nara flips up the veil of faces. Well, that was a stupid thing to be bait for. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip one over with my foot and uh, pat him down to see if he's got anything on him. And I was going to do the same to Blue Boy. All right, everybody go ahead and do survival checks on these creatures. I'm going to make sure to press 18. the check before I put them back in my pocket. Four. They did work today. All right, the coins, like, stack up. Like, you hold out your palm, and the coins flutter back to your hand and stack up in two neat piles. Money wizard. 
Uh, Money Wizard is amazing. Uh, 16 for my survival check. All right. Uh, Denier, you find probably, um... Are there any sort of metallic spell components that you'd be looking for? Oh, boy. Um, I assume that there would be uh, metallic spell components of some kind. I know that higher level spells require rarer metals. Like, say, for example, one of the highest is uh, adamantium. But I know that iron dust is a required spell component. But given right off the top of my head, I can't think of, like, particular right. metals. Um, I'll say that you, you find probably, like... Uh, amongst all of these creatures, admittedly kind of like shabby holdings on, you, you're able to find probably about um, two pouches worth of iron dust. Ooh, very nice. Uh, Nara, you said you rolled an 18 for survival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, these I'd creatures like don't have a whole lot of things on them, but you do find currency on them that was clearly taken from uh, adventurers that have gone missing in these woods. Huh. You're able to find about uh, 20 gold and uh, 15 silver. Okay. Cut Nine you. little fuckers. Ah, as we're just adjusting his, his, his nose. <laughs> ah. Got me right in the nose. Is this cave lit at all, or? Oh yeah, bro, it's lit. Nah, it's it's it's. Oh, wow! It's wow! Dark. Wow! We can make uh, it lit. No. Oh. Nara like bum, bum. sidesteps over to Asmo, like right up next to his shoulder, and like kind of bumps into him, not looking at him. What is it, Nara? <laughs> Oh, right. Jesus. It's been a while. Uh, with, 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 hold on one second. I, I think there's a particular way I want to do the red one. Asma turns the ring and just punches it in the face over and over again. <laughs> fucking... And then the purple one, too. Both of That's them. Like, give, give me just That's a moment, actually. Oh. What? Oh. Uh, you, you, can, you can use any of the corpses to look at. Well, pick one. I'll go with that one last. Asma just kind of goes through. Uh, and, I'll like, hit. Look at this one, then. All right. You can satisfy your huge bastard of a master later. <laughs> Asma, as you start as you start like punching it in the face with the ring, <laughs> its face slowly starts crumbling into dust. The first one Asma's <laughs> ever punched sent aggressively. Asma's mad at them because he can never communicate with them and express how pissed he is. Oh my god! One of the drow just watching the transference chamber. It comes in punch by punch. <laughs> <laughs> never, never seen that before. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, Don't okay, worry what about did you, it. What did you want to examine about them? Uh, I am going to cross-reference what I know from the book with how they are now. I know they're a little dead, but... Uh, go ahead and give me a nature or arcana check of your choice. Oh, boy. 71, 70, 69, 68... Um, 67. Uh, 11? <clears throat> you have had very, like, this is your first interaction with this particular type of creature. So you're not entirely sure what its normal state is. Uh, given what you've learned from Plum Boy, you know, typically they kind of, like, stand on their own while they are, cer they certainly look like they're built for violence. Uh... There, there might be some form of <clears throat> enchantment on them, but you're not entirely sure. Mm. You're not sure what the source is or what the exact effect is or what the spell might be. Is there anything I might know about that? Um, Bloodlust enchantments? Something along those lines? You, you can go ahead and give me an arcana check if you would like. I would. 21. <clears throat> Your master uh, has, like, you know, in your in your training, 
before you went out into the world, you needed to learn all about, like, the kind of charm effects that people might try to enchant you with in order to figure out your master's whereabouts, what types of things to avoid, what types of things to, like, how to counteract some of them. Hmm. <clears throat> These creatures didn't seem charmed per se, like, not under specific enchant, not under some sort of specific enchantment. These things were, if they were anything, they were enthralled by something. So, they weren't enchanted. If that's what you're wondering about, blonde that's man. What, that was what I was wondering about, yes. Mm, something closer to enthralled, I think. That's what I've seen some, means. Well, different, same different. I think one of them cracked a rib or something. You'll live, oh. probably. I will. Um, That's concerning, to say the least. Well, it's not any different from what we've heard. Apparently, they weren't always like this. Oh. Let's continue searching. Hmm. Anything right. over here, Lenny? Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything of note in this cavern entrance way. Uh, the light from the sun outside seems to dissipate fairly quickly in the air in here as uh, it stretches on into darkness. Wolfgang looks onward. Whoop. Wrong map to try to do that on. There we go. Uh, <laughs> just for confirmation, we have sent the five intercaps, though? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I will properly dispose of those bodies that you have thoroughly we punched have out. Bodies. Five red cap bodies have been sent. Woo. Uh, the one where the one that uh, ambushed Asmo seemed to have been sitting in a uh, waiting in a cavern, almost as if like it expected you guys to arrive. Like this this was an ambush that took some organization. They knew you were coming. Somehow. They were ready for an attack. This guy, the first guy who ran at me, was waiting right here to see if anyone came around the corner. And that's why they had those guys up on that ledge we couldn't even see because of the rocks are working. This was prepared, so either they're organized or they're expecting somebody. Well, they're, we're in their territory. Oh well, boy, how long ago was the attack that they took to Sigil? Uh, by your time, a few weeks, I guess. Maybe something new. A third factor is happening that we don't know about, so... At least that was the first Maybe. attack. I'm sorry, when they took our sigil, that was, uh... That was only about five days ago. I can think of one thing. And that is? The Jester. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... From what I've seen, for the most part, the Jester doesn't have the ability to mind control... <laughs> That we know only, yeah, the last time he did it was only because he had Ramses as Jim. At least we're not rescuing him from this cave. Asmo starts moving ahead a little bit. Uh, in case I didn't say it, Nara puts her circle back on. All right, you switch back out and take on your drow Asmo. form. As when the mention of rescuing Ramses from the cave, Denier actually pauses for a couple seconds before he just keeps on walking. That's was just combat action rolling in like along in straight lines on an angle. Uh, as you uh, continue as on, Plum Boy kind of hovers along as like a, a singular point of light. It's kind of a dim glow, like a like a torch glow around Plum Boy. Nara Asma will just his head around the corner. Peek with, Peek. with Asma around the corner. Right, you right, peek around the, the corner. Uh, you can hear the dripping of water uh, as it kind of condenses from the top of the cave into a pool below. Go ahead and make me a perception check. More than happy to, Nick. 23! 
Uh, Nara, this this cavern that you're in uh, seems perfectly clear, but Asma's the one peering into the next one. Seventeen. Well, no, I was peeking around the corner too. Peeking over my shoulder. Ah, uh, okay. To totem, uh, totem pole style. As far as you can see, everything looks clear in the next in the cavern above you. Okay. What do your draw I see? Not much. It's a room, and it circles around a basin, and there are so many little caverns. Little gullies to the side. Little holes for the little bastards to hide in. It's safe to say that they are set up in the other room. So if anyone has an idea of some way of drawing their fire, so myself... Do they just them. attack anything that moves? Apparently they raid towns for sigils, so... Wouldn't chalk it up to them eating people. Hmm. Nara just picks up the nearest rock and tries to throw it in the other room. Sees what happens. Uh, you throw the rock. Clack! 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 It just kind of echoes beyond. Uh, it rolls up to the ledge and plip, plops into the water beneath. Nothing seems to come of it. Right. Does anyone have a way that they can draw attention? Nothing's there, nothing's there. If something's there, well, then we'll know. And there's gotta be something in there. There's too many caveats and holes for them to hide, so... Anyone got anything? I got some. What do you got, Denier? I'm going to move up to the other side. I'm going to cast Minor Image. And I'm going to have a image, and let me check the specifics of this. Uh, I believe it's about a five-foot area. Uh, sound, image, five-foot cube. I'm going to make a little five-foot cube Asmo walking down the <gasps> way. Oh, my God. He's He's making no sound, though, but I'm making him look like he's trying to be sneaky beaky. Dude, dude. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Dude. dude. No, no, the problem are, are, is that are Nara's going to separate directions or something? Okay. He does look oh, a he, 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 he little... Like, he walks like a cartoon. Oh, no, it's oh. Blasmo. Oh. Like, and his feet don't I, really make impact with the ground. And I'm stealthing uh, just a little bit away since I believe I have to be within 30 feet of it. Nara right, panics and... <laughs> because it looks like Asmo. 22. <laughs> she runs 22 it after herself. it. Nope. I grab her by the arm before she does. Yeah, Asmo does too. What the fuck? I'm a... <laughs> I was like, no, 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 that's, that's not me. That's, that's, that's Moe me. She that's flashes Moe. the baby Yodas as hard as possible. I don't fucking give a shit about baby Yoda. <laughs> but... <laughs> It a has a name now. <laughs> Asmo's a heel now. Uh, the uh, the <laughs> Asmo cartoon just kind of stands like rubber band, like arms bobbing up and down, knees bobbing with it, like <laughs> cu 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 cuphead, <laughs> cuphead <laughs> idling at the edge of at the edge of the water well. There, <laughs> nothing seems to have attacked it yet. Is All this right. like a? Is this like a? Like a, a tangible thing that can be touched? No. It is a, okay. it is purely an illusion. Okay. And Daenerys just gonna walk with uh with rubber band asthma, with rubber hose asthma. Nara scowls at Asmo and Wolfgang and like marches in behind Denier really grumpily. <laughs> Trying to stop you from getting hurt, you bleeding idiot. Well, if Denier wasn't making tiny versions of Asmo and then putting them in danger, I wouldn't need to go in. Maybe if you didn't have the mind of a child, you wouldn't be fooled by his illusions. Well, maybe... Mm. She stops herself and just looks away, stops trying. Maybe, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, this room appears to be clear. Rubber host Asmo is going to walk up to Nara and... Do that, I'm not touching you bit, with the finger to the nose. Just wiggling it. 
It's, it's, it circles its hand quite cartoonishly in front of your nose as if it's about to boop you, but then just like holds it about an inch away. <laughs> and she just I, like I, sparkles I, in the eyes like, <gasps> I, 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 Oh, he's I, so cute. <laughs> Asmus just got his hands on his head, like going like, I fucking can't believe this shit. God damn it. Could have made it anyone. Why me? God. <laughs> You're just so stabbable. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Andrew. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. Well, to be certain. Uh, I'm gonna pick up a, a small rock. All right. And I'm going to cast light on it. All right. The rock begins to emit light, Nara, from oh. behind. Like it's it's really bright behind you now, uncomfortably <laughs> bright. And I'm gonna toss it into the room as far as I can. Nora right. flips on the goggles so that her eyes don't have to adjust again. <laughs> give me uh, give me an athletics check. Oh no. Hey, I'm good at those now. Yeah. Wait, you or me? Oh, you, him. Yeah, he's throwing a rock <laughs> as hard as he can. <laughs> I thought I was going do athletics to put my goggle, my shades on. I was like, why? You kind of like toss it up in the air, catch it, and then, for, and then uh, front hand throw it it clacks off the back wall, kind of rolls up and ploop into the water around here. Uh, from the distance it fell, you can see that the pool of water there is about three feet deep at the point that the rock's sitting. Okay. And no shadows cast in the room mm, as well? N nothing popped up. All right. I think we're good. Uh, Chippy Rubber Hose Asmo proceeds to uh, consume himself and explode into a little a little explosion of uh, confetti. He flips. Okay, he, 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 he he does a backflip, bites his tail, and <laughs> Asmo the World Serpent. Nara's face is sheer horror and panic <laughs> because, <laughs> and her arms are out, grabbing after it, trying to save it from itself. <laughs> <laughs> and then it explodes. If that, if that, if that, if that ain't a metaphor. Oh. My, if that ain't a metaphor of my dating life, nothing is. Yeah, you know that really. Ugh. Nara <laughs> turns on a dime right in front of Asmo. <laughs> then grabs him and goes, "Never do that, ever." Asmo holds Nara in a hug, in a, in a quick embrace, real quick. Don't hurry, Nara. I will never let Denier do that again. He stares at Denier. He's just like, mm. gee. <laughs> His tedious little smile, that that face of, bitch, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I miss my wife. <laughs> Get a dog. I have one. His name is Elliot. <laughs> well, he had one oh, before it was a wife. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Wolfgang. He had a wife. Oh, no. His name is Wolfgang. <laughs> he had a wife. What happened to him? Oh. All right. So uh, beneath the little, uh, to the right of the pool of water as you enter this room, uh, you'd have to drop down the little ditch there, but uh, it appears the cave cir circles further in that way. As we kind of just lightly just goes like going around the corner here. All right, and from as that well, angle, you can get a better I've, view of what kind of like lies beyond. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to see. Thank you. There's a path across the water here, but I think there's something up here. Asmo comes up here to the top corner and looks around because he sees there's like an obstruction of some sort. Oh, I let light fade as well. All right, the light fades as Asmo walks up to this uh, bit of rubble that seems to be a collapsed cavern. Go Glasses ahead and give me a perception check, Asmo. More than happy to, Nick. Alrighty. That's a 17. You feel the rocks, some of which feel uh, relatively loose. This, this cave-in seems to go in for uh, as far as your eyes can see looking through the cracks, so you're not far how in it goes. But you can still feel some warm air kind of breezing about it and um, a very particular smell 
Okay. It ha it's. It Can has I this... smell it? Cause I got my nose busted in. <laughs> Your nose isn't particularly busted. It, it it like bled for a bit, but you were able to like just kind of snap it back into place and. Oh. His you know, nose is snakes. his face. Yes, <laughs> yes, he's a snake. He's all snoot. Um, but but you're able to and remember. You smell with your tongue, so. Blah, blah, blah. So That's tasting true. the air, uh, it has this very particular kind of funk to it. There is nothing familiar about this taste, like the the this sensation in the air at all. This is a funk. Odd. Like so, it's a bad taste. It is, but in that sort of like compelling way, where it's where it's that kind of like weird smell. Where it's like, ooh, that's kind of weird. I wonder what that is. Not you're oh, immediately what? repelled for it, and not you're immediately repelled by it. Okay. The cl so... the closest thing that comes to you is kind of that oceanic salt water mm. sensation, but it's mixed with this weird sort of death funk. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm smelling something here. You see Asmo's tongue out in the air going... Just doing weird... It's just doing weird, like, almost like pictures. Like, hmm. hmm. <laughs> Snake tongues are hilarious. Nara watches uh, curiously. Do you, do, you, uh, do you smell that? Um... And she whips. Go ahead. Uh, perception check to anybody who wants to try to smell the smell of smelly smells. Give a bit. 19. This is a... 24. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a new scent to all of you. Um, Denier, this... Funny enough, you're able to place a part of this smell as you are one of few people who has kind of traveled between, like, planes, so to speak. There is this extra planar sort of sense, kind of like... This this radiant sort of etherealness to the smell. It's a little bit weird. It smells like a different plane over there. A different plane. Yeah, it has that different plane of existence kind of smell to it. Ooh. He'll start smelling for it now. Uh, soft twenty. Whoa. You're slightly like. You're, you're able to catch on, like, when you're told, like, what notes you're, like, looking for to smell. It smells like, like, the night after a rain by the ocean, where there's, like, just a bunch of beached crabs. But there's also this, this sort of ethereal sort of scent to it that, it, it, it almost kind of, like, prickles your magical senses as you're sniffing. Huh. Weird. You think it's mushrooms or something? Does it feel like the mushrooms we experienced when we crossed the the big wide uh, division back at the beginning of the campaign? Nah, this is a different smell than that. That was that was very fungal and rot. Okay. Well, there's only one we can blow open this door and get through these rocks. <laughs> or, as one nudges over to the path that's clearly through the water, get our boots wet. How big are, is it just like a lot of small rocks or is it one big rock? Uh, the front of this rubble, it looks like just a bunch of medium sized rocks, some small rocks. There's definitely some large rocks mixed in. There, There is a definitive cave in here. Mm -hmm. And you're not sure how far back it goes. <laughs> Nara pulls out two black powder charges and slowly lifts them up. That might make a cave even worse. Um, I'd have one shot to try to get rid of rubble, but I don't know how much I could get rid of. Nara slowly puts the black powder charges away. <laughs> how densely packed is this rubble? Uh, when Asmo like went up to look at it, this is this is definitely a new cave in. So some of the like it hasn't like settled all of it. Mm. This is uh, recent. It might yeah, be rel relatively recent. This might be intentional. It might be part of the reason why there was those go there were those guards, and we haven't seen anything since. I think behind here 
is where more of them are. You feel that warm air. Maybe a fire or something hard to say. But get over there! You have to go through that path, so unless you want to bash through here, we gotta get moving. Hmm. Aswell just kind of jumps out into the water. Ah, How deep? Uh, at that area, it's it's about knee deep. Alright, Aswell's gonna scan the water for any secret tentacle monsters. <laughs> Go ahead Three and feet. give me a perception check. <laughs> Three foot deep tentacle monster. I, I didn't say there could be a hole it's in. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Oh my god. Wouldn't it just give me a perception be. Perception check. Uh, no, I'm scared to click it now, Nick. I don't like your tone. But you have to now. 16. Uh, as the water ripples further back into the darkness of the cave, um, nothing seems to catch your eye within its <laughs> depths. Uh, Asmo, like, slosh, slosh, slosh. Is there a ledge I'm getting onto? Or is it just a simple path? It's it's a it's a small like one like foot and a half up ledge that you're like as it as you're slowly stepping out of the pool. There's like a small gap between the uh, water and the dry cave well, above. Come on, guys, don't lose eyesight. That's how one of us gets kidnapped. Come on. Looking at the uh, at the rocks, Lanny, is there like is there any tiny gaps throughout the entire thing, or is it just completely blocked off? Like I said, it's a cave-in. Like, there yeah. are certainly, like, some gaps between the rocks just because it hasn't completely settled and filled in yet, but it's it's a solid wall of rubble, as far as you're concerned, as you're at your current mm. size. I could try to send Eska in there, see if it can get through very even Eska, kind. Even Eska probably wouldn't fit very far in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Nara tries to take a very small rock and pull it out. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. Nineteen. You feel a rock that feels like it's bearing some weight. You slowly jiggle it out and think. Jenga. Nothing falls. She gets excited that she managed to get a rock out and then just leaves. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Nara, you have a rock. <laughs> All right. Let's get a move on. I use my climbing speed, and I climb over the water. <laughs> Denier De Spider-Man climbs the side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on ahead. Osmo goes up and just dips his head... As was going to stealth the best he can. Go ahead and stealth. Yeah, I'm going to slide up along the wall here, so let me roll a stealth check. 26. Ow. Right. You are quite stealthy, Asma. Go up and peek around the corner and see further into this place. Looks like just another empty cavern, little offshoot of a cave. <laughs> Asma's really quiet, kind of holds up his hand. And Aswell points ahead, and he just kind of stealth again. Uh, you're still you, the stealth uh, roll you had will ride. Okay, and St uh, Aswell then pokes his head around mm -hmm. the upcoming corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, up this way. I want you to make me a perception check again. Ooh, okay. Nara's gonna peep into this Nine. little this little thing. Copy. There's there is a uh, there is a definite deathly funk in the air here. Uh, but you're not sure which direction it's coming from. Uh, Asmo is going to stealth up and then across to right here and look around the, and peer down the hallway uh, to the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a stalagmite mm -hmm. at the uh, center, almost looking like a support column. Uh, Asmo, just, Asmo kind of makes the sound of... Ezra just kind of makes a sound with his hand, too. Like, not snapping, but like a, hey, come here. Yeah, stretching down the tunnel in front of you. <clears throat> you see a stalagmite reaching the ceiling of this seven-foot-tall cave. All right, this goes two directions here. Stay here. I'm going to go up and look at the other direction to see how far it goes. You guys guard my flank and run for help, okay? Nara, go ahead and give me a perception check where you're at. Me? Yes. 
Twelve. You smell the sweet, sweet smell of bodies. Kind of wafting in from this direction as the air circulates. The left side? Yeah, the yeah, the up the upper path. Asmo! She shakes the sleeve. What? There's a lot of bodies that way. Shh. She points to the left. Are you sure? Yeah. I would recognize that smell ten miles away. As we continue stealthing up to the essentially the small little one person five foot cubby hole, and then Asma peeks around to see what's the direction Nara said. You slide through here, and sure enough, you start to see some, like, scattered bits of bone and blood kind of streaked across the floor of this cave here. Asmo slides along the left side of the wall, and feeling, stepping past the bones, just so we and can peek, peek his head around this corner right here to the left, or his from left. The, from this angle here, you're able to get a glimpse at where some of that smell is coming from as you cross in. You see a dead bugbear kind of slumped over against a wall wrapped in a fine silk dark coat cloak sorry silk dark cloak yep asmo said I, I, you hear asmo make the sound again say come here this way come here guys hey. what is it there's a body up there <gasps> the bug hold on hold on hold on it's a bug bear <gasps> Dinner. here Dinir's going to make sure that Plum Boy is following before bug he goes forward. Bug Even if I'm not pulling him, just assume Plum Boy's with you. Bug okay, thank you. Bug I didn't Asma know if calls he was for... behind for roleplay. Asma calls bug for Dinir. Dinir. Yeah. Bugbear. There's a bugbear up there. Bugbear. Look, look what he's wearing. Bugbear. Yes, there are. It's a bugbear right now. Look what he's wearing. <laughs> Looks like a black cloak. Uh, but the thing is, bugbears don't wear cloaks like that, right? I mean, he could have found it anywhere. He, well, we're gonna creep up there. I'm gonna try and make it to that stalag tighter mite. And I'm gonna look in to the left, so. Wish me luck. Asmo continues stealthing, and he's gonna try and, like, roll across to here. Like. Alright. And then what does Asmo see looking down the pathway to the northwest? Uh, to the. Northwest, you see another little cavern opening over here. Looks to be a bit more water. Uh, as you did slink that way, you noticed a goblin also garbed in a uh, thick, silky black cloak. Who wants to take watch? We got something to look at here. I'll watch, watch. them. That's what goes into the bodies. And goes right, right up to the bugbear. Nara's gonna look down this little hallway too. That she's I'll next to. I'll stay behind an ear and I'll be looking the opposite end of the hall. Alright, sounds good. Asma just As you... kind of looks at the body, looks at the robes, sees how new they are. That's what Asma wants to feel. Are these like really well made clothes or is it just a. They threw on a sheet? Uh, it looks like a very fine material as you approach it. Go ahead and uh, give me a, what would it be, for discerning the materials it is made out of. Uh, I'm going to go with a, a insight? Mm, no, that, that's more like you're trying to read a person. I'm going to say hmm. go ahead and make me a, um, just a general survival check. Oh, thank God. Something with a positive. 18! As you reach down to examine the materials, uh, it, it feels very, like, soft and leathery as a almost murmur-like hum begins to echo around you. The cloak begins to unfurl Oh, fuck. As a spindly, jagged tail starts to wrap itself around your leg, I need you to Shit! make me a strength check. Saving throw or just check? Uh, sorry, saving throw. Thank Would you. Nara see this from over here? It's 20. You're able to rend your leg free as the cloak begins to unfurl from the bugbear. 
and a jagged, toothy maw rips itself from the flesh of the bugbear, which you now see to be completely emaciated. It's a mimic! Fucking cloaker! Oh, the other... Uh, the the one around the goblin begins to rend itself free as well and stretches itself out before you. And here Uh-oh. is where we'll take a quick break. Hey guys, Lanny here. If you're liking what you're watching, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really helps me feel the love for this series. And if you want to catch us live, feel free to hit us up on twitch.tv slash Lanny Mondays at 5 o'clock Central Time. Thanks for rolling with me. Now let's get back to the action. Alright, everybody roll me initiative. All right, here we go. Natural one. Nineteen. Seventeen. Uh, why is it not going? I don't know. Oh, it's coming. What are these uh, stupid uh, flap sheets? They're cloakers. <laughs> so I get first dibs. In fact, you do, Nara, as these two leathery, manta ray-like creatures unfurl their bodies uh, and let out a uh, unsettling moan, this (laughs) echoing through the air and throughout the cave. You're up, Nara. Tango Morte. Throw it. 13. Uh, 13 does not hit. As oh. it just kind of like skids past. Uh, mm-hmm. I also didn't ask which one you were attacking, but the creature. Uh, let's try, uh, let's see, how many do I have? I have two? Because I can throw it again as a bonus. Yeah, as a bonus action, you can uh, use it as well. Doing it again! 29! Ooh. And which one are you attacking, by the way? The blue, blue or the red one? All right. Blue, because it's right in front of Asmo. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> Deal your damage. Nine slashing, one necrotic. Ten damage. As the blade screech past the flappy monster beast. Flap sheets. The hell are these? Flap sheets. What? Asshole doesn't even know if you're faking it. He doesn't even know if that's like She's a, that's gesturing a real name. very genuinely. <laughs> That's a very serious look on her face. They are the flap I don't flap know if sheets. you're taking it seriously or you just don't know and you just really believe your version of it. I can never tell with you. She Mercedes. decided what, she decided what they're named, um, and so that's what they're named <laughs> now. See, that makes sense. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do, 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 uh, sorry, hold on. There we are. Denier, you're up. Okie doke, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Shatter at 4th level. Oh boy. Uh, I can, if I can just ping right here. So it should hit both of them, but it be just outside of the range to hit Asmo. Alright. They need to make con saves, DC 17. Alright, let us see how they do. That one failed. Yeah. That one passed. Okay, red passed. Okay. They <laughs> 17 damage for blue and red takes what eight? Eight, yeah. Or do we? Yeah, it would still be eight. Do, 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 do. Yeah, eight. Press two Round more just there. So 17 to blue. Yep, 17 to blue and eight to red. And Veneer is going to take his point and he is going to move back just a little bit and I will end my turn alright the blue cloaker uh, letting out this phantasmal moan Mm -hmm. you see two more appear beside it oh my am I I pushed is it on top of me Uh, yeah it's, it's kind of like uh, this particular part of the cavern is about 15 feet tall, and it's hovering about five feet above you. Shit! Uh, that is its turn. And now we move on to Asmo, your turn. 
Well, uh, I am gonna do a disengage action. <laughs> All right. Um, and I would like to, uh, as a bonus action, can I grab Nara by the hand and have her run with me? I want, like, I want her to move, essentially. The whole turn, I just want to disengage and make someone else move. That's it. Um, I'll allow it if Nara is willing to go along with it. Yeah, Here. since there's a lot more of them now, she's a little more willing to move away. Asmo pretty much, like, grabs you by the arm, forearm, and, like, th throws you beside Wolfgang. What? And then Asmo just pulls out the shield properly, and, and just, I can't take a, a prepared action because I use my action, but there you go. All right. Fun, mm -hmm. The red one flutters away. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't like that. And now it is Wolfgang's turn. Alrighty. Uh, well, from behind Asmo's shield, then, uh, Wolfgang is going to uh, hold Crescendo in a reverse grip and point his finger out. Uh, sticking the thumb up like it, like it's a gun. And he's going to fire out three Eldritch Blasts. Uh, I guess one at each of the... each of the cloakers. All right. Uh, roll for the first one to hit. Eldritch Blast gonna be 11. All right. Uh, go ahead and quickly, before you roll... Uh, yeah, I guess that's that's going to miss. But roll me a d6 real quick. Okay. Two. All right. That one uh, slide. That one kind of like slides. Uh, like it, it. This one would have arced towards the one on the left. It just kind of like dips its wing and poof, the explosion fires off behind it. All right, go ahead and fire your second elder blast. Shit. Eldritch Blast number two is going to be 13 to hit. Uh, go ahead and roll me a d6 again. Uh, three? All right, this one uh, skates past the one in the middle and also misses, just kind of exploding in the pile of bones. And roll me uh. a, another... To hit for your third Eldritch Blast. One more is gonna be 13. I'm rolling like shit right now. What the fuck? And, try, and trying to hit the last one once again, it just kind of careens off and hits the. Uh, it actually explodes the head of the goblin behind it. Uh, <laughs> do I need to roll another d6 or? No, this it would have gone for the last one. So. Damn, dude. And they and they all missed regardless. So. <laughs> uh. Guess I'll... Missed in what way missed? <laughs> Did not even hit the AC. Okay. Guess I'll take five uh, foot step back and Guess end I'll my die, turn. then. Just... <laughs> uh, All right. Man, that's rough. Um, back up to Nara. Scorching Ray! Thirteen? Uh, once again, misses. That's not great. You guys are having a bad time trying to hit these things at range. Why are we they stuck on 13 duck. I don't know. Oh, no. They're slightly smaller than the broadside of a barn. Uh, wait. Uh, I can only do a bonus action at this point. I can't cast another. Right. Okay. Right. So, so it's still floating out there, though. But let's do. Rays. Oh, that's right. I do. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and I fire do. two more of those. 24. All right, roll mm. me a d6 real quick. Oh, God, dingles. Three. All right, now roll your damage. Eight. Fire damage. As it, as it slams into uh, the creature, you see a searing <laughs> beam of fire uh, etch an arc across its chest as the three of them like uh, shuffle amongst each other. The burn now appears on all of them. Oh. 
And it did eight damage. All right. And I get to do one more. Yeah. Natural oh. twenty. Natural twenty. Go ahead and roll me a d six. One. The beam flies forward and boom, just explodes one of the cloakers that was floating. Ha ha ha! Good shot, Nara! Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now someone else kill him. Uh, do you still have a bonus action? Ooh, I do. Wait, hang on. I, 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 one more thing. 26. 26, roll me a d6. Okay. Five. All right, Tango Muerte strikes down, like spinning like a buzzsaw, streaks down the back. For 10 slashing and one necrotic. <laughs> 11 points of damage, nice. Uh, it streaks down the back as it lets out a Only on one of them or all of them? You can only hit one at a time. Okay. And as the two kind of flutter together, the same bleeding scar appears on the back of both of them now. Oh. All right. I do not want to drag the corpse with them, please. There we go. They fly forward and circle around the uh, little stalagmite in this cave, uh, in this little section of cavern. Sorry, I'm dragging asthma with it now, too. Mm -hmm. uh, ah! <laughs> I mean, it's wake! All right, I need each of you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Interesting. 12. Okay. Awake isn't in this campaign. 27. Oh my god. <laughs> 20. Oh god! Um, 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 24. Nara, as these things no. float, as these creatures float before you, <clears throat> the sound they begin to make begins to fear, fill you with dread. You are under the effect of, uh, you are now considered frightened of this creature. Uh, flap sheets? <laughs> Let me double check what Frightened does. I think you can't move towards the enemy intentionally. Okay. That's yeah, true. That's the case. You also have disadvantage to attacking the enemy. Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You have, you have uh, disadvantage uh, while attacking it, and you may not move any further towards it. Some Frightened conditions uh, also specify that you must use your action to dash away from it, but I don't know if that's... It's, not, it's not this type of fear. It didn't specify that. Uh, Disadvantage on ability is... checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is now going to swoop down towards you, Asmo, and try to bite at you. All right, come on. Do you still have the shield out? Oh, yeah, shield's still on. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. Uh, Yeah, I'll take the... Oh, wait, hold on. Because the shield has plus two, right? Yes. Yeah, one short. Okay, yeah, I'll take the hit. All right. <clears throat> uh, sweeps down wait, 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 hold on, hold on, I'm hearing something. Hmm? If, you're, oh, if, you're hear, if you're hearing something, it's the crunching uh, sound of this creature. I need you to make, I, like, sorry, just to keep combat rolling. Yeah, no worries. Um, takes 11 point of piercing damage. And Lanny, I'd like to use my, uh, my reaction for projected ward on Asma. All right. I uh, take but before yeah. its jaws can crunch down, uh, they are met with a magical ward kind of protecting your left shoulder. Thanks, Janir. Then whips its tail forward like a scythe. A, uh, dude, it, yeah, with a 18 to hit Nara. What? Shit. It can attack through me? It has a 10 foot reach. Shit. Oh God. It is currently above. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, my AC is like 15 right now, so no. Nope. Right. That is a, uh, seven points of damage to Nara. Oh, dingles. You haven't gotten a hit, so you should still have temporary hit points. Yeah. Uh, those are gone now. I have. Uh, I was hit in the last one. Red uh, cap jumped or threw a thing. Right. That's right. Hold on. Why do I have this written in this order? 
Oh, Asmo, it is now your turn. Excellent. Asmo is going to free action and change the form of that shield into the spear. All right, with your bonus action, the spear takes shape in your hands. Excellent. The stinger and Asmo stabs up the thing that just attacked Nara. 28. 28 oh hits. God. Now roll me a d6 real quick. Absolutely, and that's 5 plus 6, and we'll do a roll you a d6. 5. You plunge the spear directly into the middle of the body of the beast, and that is 11 points of damage with the poison. Yeah. All right. Uh, it lets out another <laughs> shriek as the two flutter together again, cycling back and forth. And the same puncture wound that you left on one now appears on the other. Really? They're like almost symbiotic. Okay. Asmo spins Stinger in his hand and goes for two more stabs up at the one right in front of him. All right. 23. Woo -hoo. Roll me a d6 real quick. I plus one, and yes, indeed. One. You stab forth, and the one that you attack explodes poof, into dust, leaving you with one. Mm. As the spin stinger his hand, and goes immediately for an, his third attack. Fourteen. Just hits. Woo. Eight plus four. Twelve points of damage. And once again, without a... Uh, without a clone to uh, deflect any damage this time. It eats it eats it's like stabs square kind of in the jaw as it starts to lunge its mouth down towards you. What did it talk? I don't know. Do you speak its language? No. It speaks languages. It just spoke. It just went Wait, did it? Yeah, it did. It just spoke. What language? I do not know. I have no idea. I, I can speak Draconic, Nick. Was it Draconic? No, it absolutely was not Draconic. It was not Draconic, guys. I can confirm that. Can I, like, retroactively understand a language? No. With Sorry, comprehend yeah. languages? <laughs> ah, cool. The other one comes darting out from around the corner here. Uh, it, it's not your turn, unfortunately. Mm, I figured. And straight up behind Denier. Uh, oh, I should also mention that it too has friends. Okay. Denier, from behind you, this creature swoops in. That's a 19 to hit. That's a hit. All right, it sinks, it tries to sink its teeth down into you for 12 points of uh, piercing damage. That will, uh, that will shatter the ward and I'm now taking, uh, I'm now into my temporary hit points. All right, and it will hey. swing its tail at you as well. Uh, that is a seven to hit, so that's gonna miss. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, an eight to hit. Rolled a two. It's having a bad time. Okay. Uh, ba -ba, that is its turn. Wolfgang, it is now yours. Uh, all right. I will take this opportunity to. Uh, her. Her, her, her. I'm going to... Asmo looks like he has Bluey handled over there, so I'm going to go for Jeez. Eldritch Blast one more time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> on, on, on red this time. Let's hope it's better than last time. As they shuffle amongst each Not other. great. Oh, my God. Thanks a lot, Roll20. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's a natural one. Uh, it fires off and misses wildly. Excellent. Oh. Two more of those. 
Wolfgang can hear chuckling ahead, behind a, him the first time. A 24 will hit. Roll me a d6 first. What are you chuckling about? You're afraid. Shut up. One. And as you fire it, uh, it strikes true onto one of the creatures, which explodes into dust. All right. Let's get something accomplished one more time. Elder Blair. Elder 27 to hit. Elder Blair. Four. All right. Roll damage. Uh, it's taken three force damage. Slams straight into the face of uh, the creature, which reacts viscerally with a familiar. <laughs> that one. Um, and uh, Asmo got hurt, so I'm going to use my bonus action to use two uses of my healing lights to heal him for 2d6. Thanks, bud. Yep. All right. You heal seven. Yay. All right. All right. Take your All right. That'll be my turn. Nara, you're up. Uh, I'm going to try comprehend languages. Uh, and see is that, if is I can. Is that a spell you have? Yes. Okay. Here, you can, you can, it. you can, uh, you make me concerned with your phrasing there, but I'm going to do it. You're in the, you're in the middle of combat, but I'm not going to. Yeah, gonna... but I'm, I'm curious. Uh, so I can understand anything that they say at this point. Um, and, and then I'm going to Tango Muerte. All right. Uh, so when you cast that. Uh-huh. You hear them kind of chuttering back and forth to each other, and as they do, The cloak of red was in his dreams. Somnium Vagus. Uh, Denier? <laughs> yeah? They're talking about you! Okay. They're talking about Somnium Vagus! And the cloak of red in your dreams? Uh, that's what does not that good. mean? They think so I can talk? Yes. It is, a it, 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 is, it is a language that you don't know its origin, but you're comprehending it. I don't know what this language is, but I got kind of curious because it sounded like they were talking about something. I wanted to know what they were talking about. They're talking about you. You say as you hold up your hand to pull Tango Morte and Muerte forward through the blue one, I'm guessing. Yep. Go ahead and uh, roll your to hit. 14. That hits. Do I need to do d6? Uh, no, it's it's alone. Okay. Seven slash and two necrotic. You're saying this very casually as the buzzsaw streaks through the creature. We must inform the el- <laughs> And, f like, it just kind of collapses to the ground as Asmo has viscera rain down on top of him. Is she still afraid <laughs> of it, though? As... Oh, would 12 have hit it? Uh, 14 hits it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay. She's afraid of it. Oh, correct. Crumbles. Forget what I said. No! Okay. Actually, hold on, let me... Yeah, yeah, you'd still be afraid of it. It's not its next no. turn yet. So it does, it does unfortunately miss. My mistake. Thank you for catching me. Uh, yeah, but that know. means you, that you, he, you, wait, you well, that means that he finishes his sentence. He does, fin he does finish his sentence. We must inform the elder. <laughs> um, Denier? Yeah? They say they have to tell their elder about you. That's not good. It doesn't sound good. We should stop them. Okay. Good plan. As, yeah, as Tango Muerte just... <laughs> She was distracted while speaking. Yeah, and returns back to your hand. All right. Uh, Denier, it is now your turn. Okay. Right about... Let me let me check my spacing. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Right about here. I'm throwing fireball at fourth level. It should Fire catch ball. Yum. 
Mm. Oh, oh doki. <laughs> As it explodes, uh, they need to make a deck save, yeah? Deck save DC 17, both of them. It passes, but it's still going to take half. Uh, let me see. That is 27 points of damage cut in half. 13, I believe. One of the clones immediately explodes and turns into smoke. Uh, you said 17 cut in half? 27 cut in half. Oh, 27, yeah. Okay, so that'd be... It was a fourth level fireball. Yep, 14 points of damage as... Uh, in, uh, its own tongue. Fuck! What? Sorry? What was that? Did you it said, say... It, 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 it said, fuck! Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you cut off? We yeah, whenever, whenever, whenever I screech, it does that. Yeah, uh, I figured. It, it, it yelled fuck at the top of its lungs. Oh, I see. That ma does make sense. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> All right. Uh, I your sound bite. Anything else you want to do on your turn, Denier? Uh, that's all I can do for right now. I'm gonna try to make myself seem bigger and more imposing. Asmo, you get an attack of opportunity as this thing attempts to escape. Oh, I would love to. I would love to stab that thing right in the butt with my spear. 14. 14 hits. Oh, God. Woo! 13 and points that of is damage. 13. 13. Yep, and as it turns to like fly away, you shove the spear up and <laughs> uh, in its own tongue, Nara, you hear, ah, crap! Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, beans, ah, oh, my ass! My ass! Oh my god. <laughs> and it dies. Oh. <laughs> All right, that was its attempt at a turn. Do, 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 and did it run the... away or did it did it disengage? Hmm? Uh, it was it was it was attempting something else while it was flying, so it could not disengage. Oh, okay, okay. All right, uh, Asmo, your turn. Alrighty, uh, uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> I just clap for Nara. You can do it, Nara. I. <laughs> Uh, uh, Asmo decides to uh, try and head down the other direction. Uh, you can you can slink past your allies, by the way, if you want to go towards this thing. Oh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't. Can I slide under it? Can I slide between them all? Yeah, yeah. You can you can make it to like right here, the corner of this creature. It's still kind of like in the air. So. Good. That Asmo's gonna slide it and stab three times right up into its guts. <laughs> go for it. Eh. It's exactly what's about to happen. Die. Die! Whoa. Die! Whoa. Uh, yeah, all three of those hit. Go 28, 26, wow. 26, Go ahead and roll three separate damages. As you kind of like risky business slide beside Janir. Stab, stab, stab! And then that is seven plus four, 11. 10 plus okay. two, 12. Okay. And eight plus one, nine. All right. How do you want, how do you want this thing to die? <laughs> just die, just keep stabbing it as it falls on my spear. Ah! Okay, Freaking so jackasses! You slide under it like a little sewing machine. Boof, 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 boof. And its guts just spill down behind you like it's, like... Like it's the, um... The fucking bucket of water sitting on the chair scene at the end of what the hell... <laughs> but it's blood! About. Yeah. Just, like, oh your, hair, your hair is back and... <laughs> just covered in, like, a dunk tank of viscera. Aswell's just sitting covered in blood in awkward silence with a dripping sound. Just kind of turns on his knees to Wolfgang. Can I get a press dissertation over here, please? That'd be great. Later. No! <laughs> it's I in my feel boobs, nice. Wolfgang! <sighs> we don't know blood. if more of those things blood. are around. Ruby red blood. It's blood. Blood. You, you've been covered in blood before. You... Piss shit. Okay. Nara walks up and swipes a finger. <laughs> tastes it. See what it tastes like. Uh, uh, no, no, this is, no, no. This, is a cre this is a creature that you haven't dealt with previously. Starts to almost lick it. Decides not to. Wipes it on a rock. 
its blood is thick, chunky, and if it weren't for the fact that you all see in black and right, white right now, it, it has like a different consistency to blood, and it feels oddly cold to the touch. Yeah. Oh. That probably doesn't taste as good as the normal stuff. Probably not. So and the fact they're intelligent and talking about me concerns me. They called you by your fancy name, too. Which means, more than likely, they've been in the dreams. So whatever this thing is, it dream walks. The red cloak thing about. I mean, because I... a red cloak. Oh. <laughs> I thought he had a cloak of stars in that world. He does. I did not know it was red. In, in the real world, he, uh, he typically wears a red cloak. Right now he's wearing his red bomber jacket. And in the dream world, as so many Mbagus, he wears a uh, cloak, uh, star cloaks, cloak stars. Hmm. Um, I'm going to inspect this body since this thing doesn't make sense. And just like, if Asmo's covered in its entrails, then it's obviously fine to dig around in the in insides. Yeah, go ahead and give me a survival check. Where you at? There you are. 22! Natural 20. Natural 20, baby. Natural 20, baby. Mm. You, ha you have a uh, pretty good knowledge of, like, when whenever you find a fresh new thing to kill, you always study its insides. Uh, this thing has a lot of weird organs, like, oddly shaped. You're not sure what their function is. You find what you assume to be, like, three sets of lungs. Wow. Uh, it has a massive bony carapace that kind of stretches uh, almost like an exoskeleton that's wrapped in its leathery, uh, like, satiny skin around its back. And she is, like, up to shoulders digging around in this thing. Mm -hmm. Just, like, finding an organ, tossing it over her shoulder. <laughs> finding another organ, tossing it over her shoulder. Yeah, you're able to harvest, um, say... Yeah, uh, God, that's a nat 20, so... Yeah, it is. I'm, try I'm trying to think of, like, what on these things would be the most interesting to have. I'd say that you're actually able to, like, pulling out just, like, a nice... You, you just, like, kind of pull out Tango Muerte and you start shearing around. You have uh, a nice roll of cloaker leather. Ooh! This is nice. I'm glad we got something out of it. You also have uh, ten cloaker teeth. Okay. Both eyeballs intact. And uh, due to the fact that you know this creature is intelligent, you also harvest its brain. It's brain! And you are able to preserve and hold all of those things with your natural 20 survival check. Yes! <laughs> She no, turns around, yeah. looks at Asmo, and holds up the brain. <gasps> Look! Not the... I'm sure someone would find this really cute. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, She's like like... it's like Christmas Day for Nara, and she just unwrapped her present. Oh She's God. like poking the brain, being like, Your voice was funny. <laughs> Alright, guys, I think it's good to go. Um... <coughs> what? Asmo? What? We cannot mm. send these. These aren't even humanoid. Does it matter? They're dead? Wait, it doesn't matter. Actually, above game, I thought it actually had to be human-like. Nope, like, never mattered. You could have sent anybody's. Um, I don't know about giving your master something that replicates. I don't like that. Uh, not these ones. Not these hey, ones. Just this one. It doesn't have a brain. It doesn't have eyes. Its teeth are gone. Oh my god, fine. Aswell just, like, just mm -hmm. punches it in the face. And it sizzles out. Uh, 66. Yeah. Let's keep on keeping on. Wolfgang, Denier, what you up to? I'm I, looking this thing over. I am skiing the perimeter for more enemies. 
It's a strange... Uh, Denier, go ahead and give me either a nature or a uh, arcana check on this creature. 20. Whoa. Ooh. First thing you notice is that it uh, has a very similar scent to that otherworldly scent you were getting from beyond the rocks up there. This is a creature that may not have come to be in your world. It is uh, an aberration of sorts. Something that doesn't look like it naturally exists here by magical means or otherwise. This thing doesn't belong here. It's from another plane of existence. It has the same smell as that area a little ways away. Could be that there's some kind of portal over there and these things came out and the red caps tried to block it and destroy the barricade to stop them from coming out. Mm -hmm. But, Nara, what did these things say? They said that they have to tell the Elder because you are the one that walks in dreams, Somnium Vagus, that stuff. These are the things that are probably causing the nightmares to the pixies, whatever this elder is. So we just go and kill it, right? It might be more difficult than that, but if it's causing the pixies that much trouble and it, it this thing might be scaring the, um, the, the snails further south from here because there was two of them that were outside. Elder. Huh. Um, Nara's gonna go forward and check out the corpses of the bugbear and the goblin. Alright. I'll clear open a bunch of this area here for you as you've been walking around and seeing it from your perspectives. Basically, if Wolfgang has an entry on this thing, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm going to assist him in if it's like missing any information I'm going to assist him in detailing it he would and not then mm. I would give him some assistance with making an entry on this thing if he's interested I will designate a space for it but I won't start filling it out immediately yeah, you get various details. Denier will be able to, like, minor illusion you up a uh, pretty much exact replica of what this thing would look like with his knowledge of it. Yeah. I'll just write cloaker on one page and then get it taken care of later. Renaming things. Uh, Nara, as you look <laughs> over these bodies, they... they uh, give me a survival check on them. Okay. Ten. They look very emaciated. Uh, their bodies frail, look to be drained of a lot of their essence. You're guessing that these creatures that have been here have been dining on flesh of creatures that have been brought in due to this bone pile in the middle. You've been guessing they've been at this for a minute. Um, something's off about this body, and you can't quite figure out what as you're jostling it around. Hmm. So, the flap sheets take a, a host and then eat it? Denier, blonde man, do you know about this? Well, it, looked like they were, it looked like they were wearing something, aren't they? When the we flap sheets. Them. Yeah, the the creatures were wrapped around them like a cloak. It it seemed almost like a uh, parasitic. Like they latch onto it and just start drinking. And I'm going to take a look at the uh, bugbear. Uh, with my knowledge of with the fact that I've interacted with bugbears and have some knowledge of bugbears, uh, what would I have to roll to look them over? Probably still just a medical check. Okay. Twenty. I uh, 
with Nara pointing out that like something's odd about this thing, aside from its like super emaciated body, its muscles clearly atrophied, you rock its head forward. Its head is hollow. Oh. Oh. What? Oh no. What? <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. No, what? This is me above, that's above that's this, above game. This fuck. is me above game. I know what it is. <laughs> oh. Ah you shit. <laughs> puts two fingers into its head and he slowly pulls away nothing. He uh, peers in. It's, it, his brain is gone, isn't it, Lenny? They sucked his brains out. Yeah, his brain's gone. Thank you for getting where I was going with that. Mm -hmm. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, um, his brain's gone. His, okay. Completely empty. Brain skull. I mean, that makes sense. I took the brain of the flap sheet after we killed it, so the flap sheet probably just took its brain when it killed it. Right? Maybe. Did it, where did it suck it out from? It had to have accessed the skull. Somehow. I, I uh, point out the uh, the puncture wound to the in the skull to everybody. And I compare uh, it to the cloaker. Are they similar? Uh, it did, uh, I'll let the same medical check slide. It does not look like the cloaker had any appendages that might have been able to do this. Hmm. So there's something else here. Something else. Well, that explains why the people were waiting at the front of the cave, why they barred off one of the main doors. And now we have to walk the side path through what is clearly the Ender Cap's corpse pile. And whatever these scavenger things are. I don't think he's that they... bad. Oh, Nara. Nara. Okay, how, what are the conditions of these two, this bugbear and this goblin body, by the way? Dead. Very dead and emaciated. Also, nah, once Denier pointed out that the brain was pulled out and you saw the exit wound, the same exists on the goblin. Yeah, something went through its head and sucked out its brain. With my rope, can I tell if the brain was removed first and then the corpse was consumed? Or did was the corpse, or were they killed first, then the brain was removed? Uh, I'd say with a 20, you can discern that the wound on the back of the head is older than the... De uh, than the, like, consumption of the corpse. Yeah, whatever it was, he got hit in the head first, his brain got taken, and probably got dumped here to remove the body. Well, judging from the language they use, they did seem subservient to something. Maybe this elder is the one that eats the brains, or does whatever. In the I back don't. of each of your minds, you hear, Vos, vos, gosh, for, uh, for. Whoa, whoa, Nara, you hear something different due to your yeah, spells, I thought. due to the spell that you cast. What do I hear? Come forth and be consumed by the first. Um, do you hear that? Yeah. Um, something, but it's gobbledygook. Yeah, it said, come forth and be, uh, uh, it's consumed by the first. The first? The first what? Does that mean anything to you? No, the first what, Nara? It just said the first. The, fir the first what? If there were more words, I would have more words, but those are the words that it said. Oh, okay. In, how many of you speak goblin? I speak goblin. Nara, you would understand this as well. In Goblin, you start hearing, uh, It says, uh, The first to absorb, the first to arrive, the first of many. The first to absorb, the first to arrive, the first of many. Okay, are we all hearing this in our heads, or is it just Nara now? Uh, Nara and Denier understood that one. It was in Goblin. That one was different. That was Goblin. Goblin. It sounds like I might have been right. That might be a portal. Back further in the cave. Something Shit. might have come out of it. 
And back in its original tongue, Nara, you hear, Flee or serve. It said, flee or serve. And I need each of you to make a wisdom save. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Yeah! Oh, oh my God! Oh. Fuck you! Oh, my. Five. No no more subservience for Denise. 23. Oh, poor Nara's about to have a bad day. Uh, 22. <laughs> Nara, as the words circle through your head, you begin to kind of drift and drop to the ground. Your eyes sway. Everything uh. around you becoming strange. Who are these people? What? Where are you? Are you here to kill them? Who are... No. You're here to serve the master. You're here to serve the master, the great and glorious elder. He must rise. It, he okay. must be brought Is she... forth. Oh. Th that's just everything you know right now. But would she not be saying those things as well? No, your head's just kind of spinning. Got it. Okay. Denier, with your nat 20, you see this dark shade flow over Nara. Your eyes kind of like glint at it. Like you're seeing something something from the dream world seeping into her head. Oh, no, you don't! I reach my hand out and I, ca I attempt to cast the spell magic on Nara. As you reach forth, I just want you to give me an Arcana check. Okie doke. 24. Mm -hmm. This arcane matter swirling around her head appears to be this like very similar matter that makes up the dream space you pull it back and nara your head begins to clear oh are what, you okay what was that hey hey huh. that was like hey 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 what you okay i think so you good to go what happened i mm -hmm. you does going. she have any recollection of what just went on you look around and you see Denier just kind of holding his hand out in front of him. Apparently just mesmerized by something that none of you can see. Denier, in your hand spins this weave of dream. Purple, clouded, dark. I wouldn't have been able to see it. You cannot see it. I do have detect magic. I am well aware. Okay. It is something beyond your magical expertise. Something fair enough. Different. Dang. Oh god. That, that's okay. That's very interesting and very scary. Very All right. Scary. Okay. This is very interesting. And Denier will stare at it. Uh, he's what? trying to study it. You don't. You don't see it. No. See what? What am I seeing? This dark, almost dream energy started descending upon Nara. I managed to reach out and grab it. I'm holding it right here. I look at his hand and I don't see anything. Nara looks on as well. Whatever Denier, you're seeing, I can't. You stare as your mind glances into this spiraling vortex of purple energy. You start to see it writhing like little tentacles intermingling with each other. They form shapes and patterns. Almost the shape of an eye seems to appear from the center of it. Uh, and, in the back of your, and in the back of your head, in speech that you don't understand or somehow, but can somehow comprehend. So you have arrived. And Do here's I... where we'll end today's session. Ah! Oh, 